Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and to start this video off I want to give a big thank you to everyone who has bought some Old Bird Farm product whether it be candles, soaps, or our salve line. Those sales coupled with a generous donation to the farm by Sandra Davidson gave me the opportunity to buy all of these 2x8s for the Old Bird Farmhouse. I just got these this morning. They're going to be going in the section of the floor of the house that we've ripped out a few months ago. So this is going to be new flooring for the house. Let me see, I've got 13 of them here and about 30, I think, joist hangers. So pretty soon here, we're going to be real busy replacing the first floor in the Old Bird Farmhouse, which is a huge deal. So I just, again, wanted to give everyone a big shout out and thank you for supporting the Old Bird Farm and helping it come back as it once was. That's really what we're doing here. So thank you to everyone who has, again, uh, supported these videos, who has watched these videos, who's purchased the merchandise. And of course, a big thank you to Sandra Davidson for her generous donation to the Old Bird Farm. All of that allows me to be able to continue to save this piece of history here and to save other pieces of history, such as the rising sun that we acquired recently. And all of that really means a lot to me. Being able to save history, whether it be this house or other things, really means a lot to me. And I appreciate all of y'all for your consistent support. All right, so here on today's video, we're going to be cleaning up this space right here. Um, I told you guys before I proceeded any more that way, I wanted to get the ground so clean that I could eat off of it. I'm not really going to eat off of it, but I want it that clean. So I'm going to start over here in the corner, getting the trash up. That way I have a place to store temporarily our wood that we're going to keep and uh, then of course just keep moving to where the camera is and uh, getting this ground back to you know ground and I'm out of my good thick trash bag so these are probably break every time One half of the floor is cleaned up. We can actually see dirt and not trash, especially if you don't look under the house. So I've got two different generations of wiring here that I cut out. One is cloth wound as this stuff, and this is more modern, still cloth wound though. Went ahead and just cut that because all the wiring in the house is gonna have to be replaced anyway. And these are the worst trash bags in all of history right here. Uh, just FYI, this one came pre-ripped out of the bag. And he still doesn't know what to think about the camera. All right, so we're gonna switch camera angles and go this way now.
All right, so now that we have a nice clean ground here, I got to reward myself by grabbing the metal detector and seeing if anybody dropped a gold coin while they were building this house. I actually thought this might be a coin. It's just the lid for something. Oh well. It is definitely safe to say that there ain't nothing there. Just some iron noises, probably some nails and scraps of iron. No gold coins today. But we got some nice clean dirt here, which is, you know, seeing as how we started with the fallen in floor with a bunch of trash on top of it, and we took that out and had a bunch of trash on the ground. This is phenomenal. So I did learn a valuable lesson today. I can't speak for all the locations, but if you're near Columbus, Georgia, and you ever have to decide whether you're gonna go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you should probably just go to Lowe's. So I got this wood um, from both places. The bottom pieces under this are from Home Depot. They only had seven pieces of wood on the shelf, and I got the five least warped two by tens off of the shelf at Home Depot. Their shelves were pretty empty. Like I said, there were only seven on there, but they had a pallet full of wood up top. So I tried to approach an associate at Home Depot um, about getting some more and they just flat out ignored me and then walked off. And so I waited around 10 minutes and another associate asked me if I needed help. I said, yeah, I need more two by tens. I waited again another 30 minutes. They said, okay, you know, we'll have someone come help you. I waited again for another 30 minutes and nobody ever came. So I said, you know, heck with it. Um, I'll just leave here, pay for what I got, pay for my five kind of warped pieces and go to Lowe's. So I went over to Lowe's in Columbus and their store is totally different. The associates are all friendly and helpful, but also their store was clean and well organized. Every Part of their lumber yard was fully stocked. Um, all the boards were, there must have been a hundred, you know, two by eights and all, any kind of wood you need, all the shelves were fully stocked. And the quality of the wood was so much better that I got from Lowe's. I realized that I wasted not only time, but also money uh, buying from Home Depot. If you look closely at this wood, you know, I can actually tell a big difference. I'll move the camera closer. You can actually tell a big difference. This is the wood that came from Home Depot here. You can see the grains on it versus this wood that came from Lowe's. And this wood is also a lot heavier than the wood that came from Home Depot. The Home Depot wood was super light, which is bad. Um, but you can also, again, see the kind of grain differences in the woods. Although this one, which did come from Home Depot, has really tight grains. You can also see the warpage in this wood, um, even as it is in the truck, versus the very straight pieces from Lowe's up there so you know and i'm just i'm just trying to help you learn from my mistakes don't go to home depot in columbus just go ahead and go over to lowe's
So I also got a log splitter. This isn't so much for me. As it is some of my people who use wood burning stoves. I had a couple trees fall down this summer. Um, some good hardwood stuff. So rather than just throw the those trees on the old bird farm burn pile like I usually would. I got a log splitter. I'm not, I'm not going to go into selling firewood business because that's oversaturated around here. But we can uh, split some for our friends. Oh my god, that's heavy. Besides, every old farm needs a log splitter. We'll just set that down right there for now. And we can't forget about these. All the hangers for the two by eights. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this day on the Old Bird Farm. We've got a lot accomplished today, uh, more than you guys have seen. Obviously, we got the floor cleaned out, uh, but I ran around town all day buying supplies for the Old Bird Farm. Plus, I mailed off a whole bunch of candle packages this morning as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.